Hey, what's going on, YouTube family? This is LC. Thank you for tuning back in to Law of Crypto. Uh, so today I want to talk about some of the top leading projects in the NFT space and also some new innovative projects that I think can lead the way into the future of NFT and this whole crypto space. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Okay, so first I wanted to start off with OpenSea. Now, OpenSea says it's the largest marketplace for rare items. You can buy, sell, discover, and trade limited edition goods. So if we just scroll up here really quick, you can see that you can find new collections, uh, any type of art. So blockchain technology changes the way you, we make, trade, and enjoy art. With provenance recorded and stored on the distributed ledger, market power is shifting back to the creators. So this is something special that NFTs are doing for creatives. You can actually create and sell your merchandise on these decentralized uh, applications and you don't have to use a centralized body to do that, okay? Now you can also do things like buy domain names and as we all know the dot-com bubble was crazy everyone was buying up domain names initially people were buying things like aaa.com and selling for hundreds of thousands you know and in this space uh you know nfts you can have a dot nft domain uh and also with crypto you have dot io so i'm guessing this is a marketplace where you can start buying those type of domains and that's that's really interesting that's something i'm definitely going to look into Virtual Worlds allows users to create and trade valuable blockchain-backed NFTs and ever-evolving digital realities. These online public spaces are built and maintained by the crypto community. So I can definitely see a huge need for this in the, the gaming community. Uh, they already create worlds within itself and now you can actually build assets and sell within those digital worlds. So I, I can see people living off of that. And with trading cards, we understand how big Pokemon cards are for, since 1997. I think that's going to be a huge opportunity as well. Collectibles, sports, and utility. All right, so we scroll down through the site. You can see you have a category for digital art. And you have hash mask here. I'm really big on hash mask. Uh, yeah, so people are actually selling their hash masks now. Uh, I believe hash mask opened up yesterday. Everyone just received their hash mask, so I'm guessing they starting to put it on the marketplace, so that's pretty cool. All right, you have the virtual worlds here, collectibles, and here's your crypto kitties, a uh, new collection. So I, I think there's a lot of opportunity here. People are gonna, especially creatives, creatives are gonna do some huge things on here. And a lot of buyers are gonna wanna come in once, once these artists start to blow up. That's one of the biggest things. Once you find a, one of these hidden gem artists and one of their paintings or something that they created like a, a hash mask or trading cards or a virtual world, once they start to blow up, all you have to do is buy something that the artist had made and it automatically goes up in value once they start getting noticed. So um, that's a whole art game within itself. Now let's go to Rarible. So Rari is a token, uh, it's a governance token, and this is a marketplace as well. It says, we think the best way to align platform development with customers' interests is to empower the ones who actively interact with the protocol, creators, and collectors. So it's actually incentivizing people who create and who collect. So I think this definitely is a great project as well. All right, let's go to explore. And here you can see there's a whole marketplace for a lot of these NFTs out there. Um, I need to still do some homework on some of the NFTs out there, the, the popular ones and some of the hidden gems, because you're definitely going to get people that create anything out here. Uh, and you want to make sure you're going to buy something that is going to increase in value over time. So that's where the homework comes in. Now, one of the biggest things it, with NFTs of recent is Super Farm. So if you heard anything about Elio Trades, Elio Trades is one of the biggest crypto YouTubers in the space right now. And he helps people find hidden gems out there. He's made people thousands of dollars. And he came out with his own project called Super Farm. Another NFT project we have here is Bonley. Now Bonley definitely been getting a lot of hype 
um, for the last couple months. Uh, it definitely has some great bones, and I think it's going to do some wonders in the NFT space as well. So you can see here it has a price of 46 cents, uh, market cap 47 million, and a circulating supply of 104 million, and a total supply of 983 million. So it definitely looks like it's a great project. It's under 1 billion in total supply. And let's look at the chart really quickly. So yeah, look like a 14 day run. It looked like it's been doing some good things. And if you look at the max run, man, look, February 1st, it was only 13 cents. It broke away from me, I'm not gonna lie. It broke away from me, had me chasing for my second bag of it. So it went up as far as 47 cents, came down a little bit. And like I said, right now it's hovering around 46, looking like it's trying to break for new all-time highs. So I think this is definitely gonna go on a run. It's a gem, it's only 47 million market cap. I think this is definitely going to go into the hundreds of millions. Uh, it's one of the leading NFT projects right now. And let's go to their website. Yeah, so I did see this as well. They're, they teamed up with uh, Logan Paul. And if you know Logan, he's the one that's going to be fighting Mayweather coming up pretty soon. Uh, and yeah, he teamed up with Logan Paul. I think they're doing some type of card. So Bonley will be powering the next generation of digital collectibles with Logan Paul. So he actually has some type of collectible coming out. So let's see here, Bonley card game. Okay, so basically Bonley is doing a lot uh, with their cards. They're doing a lot of trading card games. They're doing things like virtual worlds. Uh, they have domain names, trading cards, collectibles, sports, and utility. Uh, yeah, they actually, they actually have some interesting projects here as far as trading cards go. Uh, let's click here. Looks like they also have hash masks up here, and I'm really into hash masks. I don't know. I, I really like them. <laughs> so hash masks is pretty dope for me. Um, and yeah, they have a lot up here. People are offering their hash mask. Let's see. Let's go back. And here's their site, pretty clean site. So yeah, it's a pretty clean site. And here's the introduction. Look like they have some peers, uh, a portable peer-to-peer -peer exchange that enables trading across any chain through any medium. So they actually have some great stuff coming up. Uh, there we go. Using a chat app to make escrow for crypto assets. Innovative features, trustless swapping and reoccurring payments. Interoperable, works across chains. Transparent, activity happens on chain. So yeah, they actually have a lot of different dimensions that they're coming from to um, to win people into their, into their um, space. Uh, like I said, it's definitely an NFT project, but they also have other things such as uh, the problem with digital payments. So DEXs are too expensive, CFI is too slow, DeFi is complicated. Our solution, trusted, transparent, and portable swap transactions between parties in any marketplace. So they're doing some big things. They're, they're more than just um, focusing on the NFT space. They're definitely diving into DeFi as well. So if you're into DeFi or if you're into um, uh, NFTs, you, you're looking at Bondly. You can get the total package here. So the ecosystem powered by Polkadot, um, and I'm heavy on Polkadot as well. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on Polkadot and the whole ecosystem, so stay tuned for that. Uh, now the Bondly native coin substrate blockchain is designed to support the lowest cost transfer for assets and as you can see here you got some of the competitors well polka dots competitors they look like they're working with everyone and supported assets you have ethereum you have dos network usd coin kusama polka dot darwinia trust chain hardano and others and that's their future roadmap and I'm telling you, anything happening on Polkadot right now is just, <laughs> it's gonna be a huge win. So you can't lose with partnering with any coin that's in the Polkadot ecosystem. That's just a smart move. And here's the CEO. He has some great videos on YouTube as well. So check those out. And it looks like he has a good team. I haven't checked everyone's LinkedIn's, but I checked some of them and it looks pretty good. That's some good 
advisors here. All right, so that's Bondly. Uh, so if you want an NFT play, definitely check out Bondly, and they're doing multiple things, like I said. So here we are, and you see the market capitalization right now for the NFTs is what two billion? <laughs> like, it's laughable. I mean, right now it's so young, it's so early. It's like, like if you look at the DeFi number, it destroys this number and that's because DeFi has been taking all the hype nfts i feel like it's going to be the next wave so it's definitely something that you want to look into oh yeah engine coin is definitely great decentraland uh let me click on actually engine coin here engine coin right now is 60 cents market capitalization is 563 million max supply is 1 billion uh so under 1 billion i always look for projects that's a billion or under uh circulating supply 929 million so it's almost at its max supply that is great no one can just drop a whole bunch of coins on you and devalue the price uh let's look at the chart and look at these waves man <laughs> so right now it's killing its all-time highs is it shot straight up yeah man it's, it's this is a great project uh let's see here now engine there's a better way to use the blockchain products that make it easy for everyone to develop trade monetize and market with blockchain by engine discover pioneering games apps and projects made by talented developers and forward-thinking companies across the world age of rust this is, it looks interesting what is this? okay okay this is the different games here look at that six dragons you got some rpg vibes all right uh, lost relics a little adventure vibe Infinity early access so yeah they got a whole bunch of games developing right now and actually the big thing with engine is they basically team with like minecraft minecraft is one of the the, the biggest games out right now you know what i mean they're working with minecraft it's actually a real world utility it's doing things it's not just building its project it's actually connecting and partnering with uh, a whole ecosystem of people untapped like you you can actually sell some of these uh rare items in games like minecraft and it automatically creates uh, a use for the coin you know so i definitely like to see things like that you see that they have a plan to monetize the coin and yeah engine is one of the top nfts right now i don't know why i didn't start off with it so yeah there you go so I hope you learned something. Like I said, the NFT space is blowing up right now. Definitely look into it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna come with some more content. I'm definitely gonna come with a full video for Super Farm as well. So stay tuned for that. So please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. If you like content like this, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see something else, let me know that as well. I'm doing research basically 24 seven. Like I love doing research. So let me know if you like this content. And yeah, until I see you next time, try to get some money. One.